out of 10. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. Hey, YouTube, and welcome back to It's Amazing. <laughs> Hello, my name is Caitlin. How are you doing? I hope you are doing well. And if this is your first time seeing this beautiful chocolate face, you ought to know what you need to do, girl. Turn that red button gray and subscribe to my channel and join the Cherry Squad. Like, And if you want to see more of this beautiful chocolate face, my social media accounts will be listed up above just for you. And in the description box, just for you. <laughs> Obviously, I want to show my shirt. So yeah, that was my shirt. Obama forever. Anyway, um, by the title, you already know what's about to go down. Like, you already know what I'm about to do. I'm about to recreate this Pinterest hairstyle, this Brady Pinterest hairstyle. It looks so cute. So yeah, I'm gonna do it. And yes, this is a part of the I Can Do That series. So yeah, I'm excited. I'm ready to go. And ignore the TikTok dances. I just do that so I can buy myself more time. And if you want to get updates on the Black Lives Matter movement, it will be in the description box below for your convenience. So yeah, that's all <laughs> for now. Uh, yeah, let's go. Alright, so as y'all already know, I'm doing the Pinterest hairstyle. And this is the hairstyle that I'm referring to. Boop. So pretty, so cute. The girl is just a whole vibe with the t-shirt and the pants and the hair and the wing everything beautiful so you know what i said i had to do it and of course we are going to start on neglected hair the neglected hair life chose me i ain't choose it okay but yeah i just had it in four bantu knots and yeah this is what it looked like after bunning it up enough of me rambling let's just go ahead and get this process started girl okay so first i'm going to show you everything i use i use two packs of hair one pack was the bali jumbo braid hair in 1b and the second hair was jazz wave the 100 percent cankalong jumbo silky i'm reading off the paper i mean i'm reading off the picture <laughs> so yeah and that was the color girl m1b burgundy uh -huh. and i am going to be using extreme wet line to you know stick my hair back get it nice and sleek and wet next i'm going to be using a bristle brush and a pick now the pick is to part my hair and the bristle brush is to obviously brush my hair and slick it back and the final thing i'm going to be using is the camille rose lavender collection edge glaze now i love this stuff this is like the perfect molder for my natural hair and my edges i mainly use it on my edges it's just so beautiful and i like it so yeah <laughs> I'm tired of looking at my hair like this, so let's let's go. Well, obviously, I gotta take these little braids down, so I'm taking that down. I'm gonna speed it up because it took longer than necessary. I don't know what was happening, but good little braids took a long time. Anyways, <laughs> the braids are out, and I'm going to section off of my hair. Now, as you saw, the girl had a like side part bang ish type vibe braid going. So, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm going to align the pick with the pointy part of my eyebrow, and I'm just going to go. Up and slant her so yeah that's how I did my part and excuse the ashiness like I said it's neglected hair and neglected scalp too so now that is all parted like I like it I'm just going to be going straight down the middle of my hair to the back I got it as straight as possible I mean like I wasn't really showing the back of my hair no way so it was it was fine so yeah I did that and then I sectioned off the side of the bang because I wanted to work on that last anyway and I am just gonna start by spraying my hair with water because I want to moisturize her and when my hair is like damp it's easier to you know manage and part and finger through whatever so yeah I'm gonna do that and then I'm going to go in with my Miel Organics I'm a granite and honey twisting custard i think yeah i think so yeah i'm just using that to moisturize my hair y'all know how i feel about this product i like it so yeah now i'm going to go in with the gel and i'm going to put the gel on the brush and yeah i'm just going to stick a ponytail like you know how to do a ponytail girl just get it to the nape get it to the front and you know make it make it real tight so that's what i'm doing <laughs> i'll be doing this all over my head so yeah enjoy this non-copyrighted music while i tackle this the special breed I got.
Okay, so I am going to do this part not sped up because I want you to see what I was doing because this is the part with the bang. So I moisturized like I did the other sections, but with this section, because it has a bang, I'm going to separate that piece of hair that's going to be the bang. I'm going to separate that away from the ponytail. And then I'm just going to work on the ponytail like I did the other three. Moisturizing it and spraying water on it and all that good stuff. Then, after I do that, I am going to concentrate a lot more water on the bang. Because A, I want it to be able to sleek how I want it to. And B, it's going to make them look cute. And them look cute ripples in my hair. <laughs> so yeah, I did put more water on the bang and more gel. So that's the only thing I did. Nothing too special, but I just wanted to let you guys know. <laughs> I did sweep the bang like i don't know how to explain it but you see though right like i just swept it to the side and down a little bit i angled it down a little so i can get the illusion that she had and yeah oh and did i tell y'all i was using elastic rubber bands i don't think i did but i doubled them up and i just put the rubber band on my hair and did a ponytail not too tight though not trying to uh, lose all our hair in 2020 Right, so you might be like Caitlin you already did two braids yes I did because girl I had to get I had to recongregate and re regroup so I can get these braids right <laughs> because I knew if I would have recorded I was gonna look mad because I was mad because my first time doing it but as you can see I have two different types of braids this the first one is the first one I did you know you can see like the rubber band and everything but the second one is the one I like best so I'm showing y'all both because you know you can have either option whichever one you prefer but I prefer the one that has some stuff wrapped around it so that's the way I'm going to teach you guys now I'm going to be taking the burgundy hair the jazz wave and I am going to take the hair out the pack obviously and I am going to split the hair in two and this is going to be the two braids you know and i'm going to comb through it just to get the ends a little bit more is it tapered is it called tapered but you know like not not um square and like a straight line so i do that and i just comb it loosely i hold the hair loosely so when i comb it it'll just go either which way and it'll make a pretty little you know uneven section and look make it look more realistic for your braid and this is this one compared to the straight one so you see yeah all right, so next I'm going to put the hair in a rubber band and then I'm going to wrap the rubber band with the hair attached to it and wrap the rubber band around my hair, basically. That's all I did. I wrapped it into another ponytail, basically. Okay, now that you have your hair attached, you're going to take a little piece of section of hair and put that to the side and that's going to be the hair that you wrap around. So we're going to put that to the side and then I'm going to split the fake hair in three. Now that I put, split the fake hair in three, I take the fake hair and put it on top of the real hair and split my real hair in three along with the three splits that I already have. Does that make sense? I hope so. So yeah, that's all I did to make my braid. And then I just plaited it down like normal. And I did go in with some extreme wet line for the ends and the hair just to make it, you know, not as frizzy, but it did still end up frizzy because my hair is natural. So like what I'm going to do. So yeah, and then I braided it all the way down all the way down that was a long braid girl and yeah and i already know that my hair is thick thick and the, the braid hair ain't that thick i already know that i went back and i added more hair i'll show you like the real end results at the end of the video but yeah so i did have to go back in later but i didn't record that part because i was already done recording i wasn't about to put my setup back again so yeah all i'm gonna do now is take that hair that we had left out of the section and wrap that around the base of the braid and i actually squeezed like my ponytail a little bit into it while i was wrapping it just so it can make my ponytail look a little tighter So now we're going to go to the most fun part, the edges. I like the edges so much. This is when I realized <laughs> like, my, my hair was thicker than the other hair, but yeah, I fixed it later. But anyway, all I'm doing now is just fleeking my edges with the wet line, and I'm just going to go over that with the Camille Rose lavender stuff. And y'all, it took me so long to get that little circle thing like she had. Like, I was real deal getting frustrated. So I had to get off camera and do it in the bathroom. <laughs> so yeah. And now ready for the big review and when i took the hair the 
cap off my head like with a scarf off my hair I was so shocked because I did not know I was gonna like it the way I liked it like I even changed my clothes like I was so hopeful and my hair did not disappoint the special Brie she acted right for me so yeah this is my hair and I thought it was so cute and I feel like it's so easy for me to do as a protective style when I want to you know prolong my wash day these are my end results i hope you guys enjoyed i hope you enjoyed the video if you did you already know what to do girl <laughs> subscribe and join the terry squad and like this video and if you want to see even more of my beautiful chocolate face do not forget to follow me on my social media accounts they'll be listed up above just for you so yeah i will see you guys sunday i think i'm trying to get on the schedule y'all i'm trying i'm trying but yeah <laughs> i will see you guys next sunday bye